everyone seemed to agree that he was the ring inspector because he's so curious about whatever I'm working on. Whatever I'm doing with my hands, he wants to be part of. So he has to smell it, taste it, look at it, touch it. He's very bright. He looks you right in the eyes. He's really affectionate. He's a lot more personality than you would ever think from a squirrel. The long-term dream was always to have a shop in Florida. So we're here. Did you ever imagine that there'd be a squirrel at this dream shop? No. <laughs> that was not in the plan. Show your wife what you have. <laughs> he was found by a neighbor right in the middle of the street. You're a big, big boy, aren't you? His eyes were closed. He was very tiny. The first thing we tried to do was to put it out to see if the mother would reclaim. And there was no activity with that. So that pretty much confirmed that there was no mother. I mean... What's going to happen? We started caring for it. I had to bottle feed him every three hours through the night. Say grandma, just like mom. We spent a lot of time together. He was just really sweet and would just sit and fall asleep on me. His eyes are open now. He's running around a lot. Oh my God, oh my God, yes. Three or four days in, he was starting to begin to chew. It's good to get real food. No, you're growing up. I had no idea what I was taking up. I was surprised at how attached to me he became. He literally just wants to be with me. He grows incredibly fast. He's more to handle now. He'll race around, he can be scratchy, he can be nibbly. It's a lot. We're slowly in transition. We've been taking him out and he starts wandering out in the world. He's got a safe place to run back to. It's a hard choice. The whole point of it was to help him get back to nature and be in that life. Charlie has been a surprising friend. Animals in the wild are as precious as the animals that we have in our home. I will never look at squirrels the same. They're a lot more personality than you would think.